What's up logical people, this is Amar. In 2016, I posted the first version of 5 Pirates puzzle. And today we will see the second version of this puzzle. Let's get started. 5 Pirates on a treasure hunt come across an island where they find a treasure box with 100 gold coins. They must share the coins with the following approach. The oldest pirate proposes how to share the coins. Then remaining 4 pirates vote for this proposal. They may agree or disagree with the proposal. In version 1 of this puzzle, all 5 pirates including the oldest pirate were allowed to vote. But in version 2, the oldest pirate who is proposing the distribution is not allowed to vote for his own proposal. Now, if 50% or more of the pirates agree on this proposal, then the coins will be shared as proposed by the oldest pirate. But if the votes in favor are less than 50%, then the proposal will be rejected and the pirate proposing the distribution will be thrown into the sea. And the process is repeated with the pirates that remain. Oldest pirate proposes how to share the coins, remaining pirates vote for or against it. 50% or more votes in favor, proposal will be accepted. Else, proposal will be rejected and the pirate proposing the distribution will be thrown into the sea. And the process is repeated so on. All five pirates are intelligent. They can think from the perspective of other pirates. They are greedy for every single coin they can possibly get. They are bloodthirsty. So a pirate will vote against the proposal if he doesn't get a better deal than what he can get in the next turn. But they are rational. So their distribution as well as voting should be based on logic. And most importantly, they all don't wish to die. So the pirate proposing the distribution must be very careful with his proposal. What would be the best distribution by the oldest pirate? Pause for a while and think logically. Let's call the pirates as P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. With P1 being the youngest and P5 being the oldest. To solve this kind of complicated puzzle, you should minimize the number of objects. So we will start with a scenario where there are just two pirates on board. P2 is the oldest pirate in this case, so he has to propose a distribution. Even if P2 gives 99 coins to P1 and keeps one coin for himself, P1 will vote against it because he is greedy even for that remaining one coin. That's why P2 saves his own life by sharing the coins in such a way that P1 gets all 100 coins and P2 himself gets nothing. Now, whether P1 agrees or disagrees, he is getting all 100 coins. But since he is a rational person, he analyzes that there is no point in killing P2. So he simply agrees on this deal. 50% or more votes in favor, the proposal is accepted. Next scenario with three pirates. P3 is the oldest pirate to propose a distribution. He analyzes the scenario that if he dies, there will remain only two pirates on board. And in that case, the poor guy P2 will get nothing. Now, P3 is an intelligent and rational distributor. So he realizes that if he gives one coin to this greedy and poor P2, he will definitely get one vote in favor. Since one vote is all he needs, so he gives no coins to P1 and keeps 99 coins for himself. P1 rejects the deal but P2 agrees with the deal. So 50% votes in favor, proposal is accepted. Next scenario with 4 pirates on board. P4 is the oldest pirate proposing the distribution. He also analyzes the scenario that if he dies, the situation with 3 pirates will look like this where the poor guys P1 and P2 will get 0 and 1 coin respectively. So P4 takes the advantage of this situation and gives an extra coin to the poor guys P2 and P1 each so that he can get 2 votes in favor. And he gives no coins to P3. So he distributes the coins as 97, 0, 
2, 1. P1 and P2 will accept the deal and P3 will reject it. But more than 50% votes are in favor, so proposal is accepted. Now the last and actual scenario with all the 5 pirates on board. P5 is the oldest pirate proposing the distribution. He also analyzes a scenario that if he dies, the situation with 4 pirates will look like this, where the two poor guys are P3 and P1 with 0 and 1 coin respectively. If P5 gives P3 and P1 an extra coin each, they will definitely agree with the deal. So he gives 1 coin to P3 and 2 coins to P1 and he keeps 97 coins for himself. P3 and P1 agree upon the deal. Even though P2 and P4 disagree but 50% votes are already in favor, so the proposal is accepted. So the oldest pirate distributes the coins as 970102. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, try the first version of Pirate's Puzzle. Also check out interview riddles on my channel Logically Yours.